Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get PS2 games working on the Xbox One on retail or dev mode with a USB 3.0 external hard drive. I do it this way because uh, it's easier for me and you know it's just easy to put on there and you know stream the games and stuff. But with PS2, it kind of doesn't. Um, like big games transferring to the system sometimes so the best thing to do to get it working right away is what I'll show you in this video so first thing download the game I'm not going to show you in this video where to get it but once you have the game put it on your external hard drive mine's right here I'm going to do uh, Sega Superstar Tennis because that's what I did in the video to make sure it works I don't want to run a game that doesn't work anyways uh, Okay, so bring this down. Go to the Xbox. All right. Um, bring this up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, <laughs> you need BIOS. I forgot about this. So the link will be in the description. Download those. Extract them. Put the folder of PCSX2 on your hard drive. Then you can go to the Xbox. Go to the Xbox and then uh, get My Files Explorer. Hopefully, you already have it, but if not, uh, it's like two bucks to pay for it, or uh, you can just get the trial over and over and over again. Uh, but once you have it, open it up. Now, if this, if this is your first time using My Files Explorer, go up here and go to Add Folder to Library. Then, uh, go down to Xbox symbol, then press the select button. I call it the select button because it's in the same spot, but press select and then press A. And what that'll do is it'll, it'll create a directory here called isolated storage. That's what you're going to need. Same for removable hard drive, which, which is what you want to do for the external too. You add, uh, Add folder to library for the external. Now you want to go down to your external hard drive. I have two. I have two drives for the same hard drive for a reason. So <laughs> that's why there's two there. But then when you're here, just press select again and go to select. I'm gonna go to cancel because I already have it. So what you want to do after you have those two things. Now what you want to do, go to removable storage. I'm going to go to where my BIOS are. So my BIOS are located, PC Backup, <laughs> and then BIOS RetroArch. Now, it's not a file, it's a folder you're looking for. So it's right here, PCSX2. Now if I open it up, this is what it should look like inside. If not, you're, you probably didn't add your drive <laughs> to my files explorer got to do that for everything to show up properly so we go back now PS2 right here press start on it go to copy folder then I'm gonna go over here to isolated storage now up at the top go to packages then go to uh, retrospection right here this is retail if you're on dev mode it's it starts with 1e4 and it should be over here if not, you're going to have to look for it, but yeah. Xbox One Dev Retrospection. Open that. Go to Local State. Then go down to System. Press Start. And then Paste. Make sure everything is put in there. Shouldn't take long. Alright, now after that's done, go back to removable hard drive and go where your game is located. I know this is kind of annoying, but Xbox One has limitations and we've all had to suffer with it, <laughs> unfortunately. So, this is not where my games are. I keep forgetting that it's under here. Um, okay, so like I said, I'm going to do Sega Superstar Tennis. So you press start and you go to copy file. And you go back to Isolated Storage, Packages, Retrospection. 
uh, local state. Now this, you're just going to paste it here. So I don't know if pasting it here, like highlighting a folder, is going to paste here. What I like to do, just for just to make sure it works, is go between the lines, press start, and then paste. And we wait for this. This could take a few minutes. All right, after it's done transferring, let's go back. I close out of that just to make sure. Um, look for retrospection. It's like three gigs, so it's right here. Start it up. All right, once RetroArch is loaded, go to load content. Uh, go to E or D on retail. I forgot. I, I just come fr back from dev mode, so my bad. And then, oh, 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 oh I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Sorry. Go to U drive. Then go here. My bad. <laughs> Make sure you load PCSX2 core. Press A on it. And it should load. So. We'll see how it loads. See if I did it right, and I should because I do this all the time. And there you go, PS2 emulation. Now, not every game is going to work, which is why I chose one that I've already done. So, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Hopefully, it helped you guys, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.